Our focus on today's lesson will be on Roma. Welcome to another lesson of Technology for All Academy, an academy that teaches information communication technology for free. To mention but a few, we have Cisco and Microtik series, and we'll be doing other vendors series in the future. For those who don't know me, my name is Taba Makobe, the founder of Technology for All Academy. So what is ROMA? ROMA, which stands for Router Management Overlay Network, operates independently from layer 2 and layer 3 forwarding configuration. Meaning Roman is like a network on top of another network. Each router inside a Roman network is assigned a Roman ID, which can be a port MAC address or can be configured by a network administrator or network engineer. To understand Roman thoroughly, let's go to our lab test and configure it. On our lab test, our cloud represents our PC or the virtual network interface card that we configured. To show you that, let me go to network and internet settings and then we click on ethernet. Then we go to change adapter options and our network interface card that's written GNS3 is the one that we configured. And then if we right click and then we click on status, then we click on details. We can see that we assigned 192.168.1.254 with a subnet mask 255.255.255.0 or slash 24. We also gave the router connected to our cloud an IP address of 192.168.1.1 which is on the same broadcast as our cloud. The link between our cloud and our router helps us to connect to our winbox without it we won't be able to access the winbox. We can only configure our routers via Oracle VirtualBox, which is a command line interface. Now, let me open my winbox. We are going to use our IP address to connect, which is 192.168.1.1. And our password is 1234567 8 Okay, let me connect. To access Roma, we click on tools and on the menu that appear, we click on Roman to open Roman settings GUI. And in order for us to configure or enable Roman on our router, we have to click the tick box of enabled. And then by doing that, we have configured our Roman. And if I click OK, our port MAC address will be used as our Roman ID. And if you want to configure our Roman ID, we can click on ID and type the ID that we want for our router. But I'm not going to do that in this instance. Next, we have secrets. Secrets are used for message authentication, integrity check, and replay prevention. Meaning Roman messages using secrets cannot be sniffed. And all this is achieved by means of using MD5 hashing. By configuring all routers with the same secret, we'll make them to only accept frames protected by that secret. To learn more about secrets, you can go to Microtik Wiki and search for Roma. Now, let me click OK in order to save my configuration. We have already configured Roma on router 2 and router 3. And to show a practical example of that, I'll go to More tab and press on New Winbox in order to open New Winbox GUI. Now on our GUI, let me put them side by side. Okay, I'll put them side by side. And on our GUI, I'm going to use 192.168.1.1 as our agent. Okay, in order to do that, I'm going to click on connect to Roma and then as you can see we have our two routers which is router 2 and router 3 and we can also see on address our portmap address have been assigned as Roman IDs 
Before I can connect to router 2 and router 3, let me configure secret on my router 1. And to do that, I'm gonna go to tools and on the menu that opens, we click on ROM to open ROM on GUI again. And then on ROM on GUI, we go to secret. And I'm going to give my ROM on a password of 12345. Okay, let's do it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So before I can click OK, what do you think will happen when I click OK? Pause to think about that. Okay, I think you already done. Okay, let's click OK now and see what will happen. As you can see, once I applied my secret or my password, you can see my Roman routers, they disappeared. Now, I'm going to use our Oracle Virtual Box to configure our router 1 and router 2 and we'll see what will happen on my router 2 I just want to give the secret and on my router 3 I'm going to give both ID and secret so to do that let me go to my visual box let me press enter and to log in my username is admin Enter and the password is one two three four five six seven eight. Enter and I'll give the command tool Roman print. This command tool Roman print is going to show us what is configured under Roman. Okay, let me press enter and as we can see, we have enabled our Roman and my current ID, my Roman ID, is still my port MAC address so now let me get inside the Roman configuration and to do that I'll give the command tool Roman and then I'll press enter to get inside the Roman configuration and to set my secret or to configure my secret I'm going to give the command set then secret then I'll give it one, two, three, four, five. It must be the same as the router one secret. Then I'll press enter. As you can see, after I'm done configuring my secret, my router two came back to the screen. As you can see, now I have router two under Roman. Okay. Now I'll go to my router three. Let me minimize router two. I'll go to my router 3. Okay. This is router 1. Let me minimize it. I'll go to my router 3. And to log in, username is admin. Password is 12345678. Enter. Now let me give the command tool Roman print. Enter. And as you can see, our Roman ID is port MAC address. So I'm going to give the command tool roman set secret it's one two three four five enter and let's wait and see what will happen as we can see now we have our router 3 also appearing on roman but it's still using port mac address so what do i do to configure my own roman id well to do that i'll give the command tool roman set id and i'll give it zero 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 let me check it's one two three four five and the last one i'll make it zero three enter and then let's wait and see what will happen and as you can see, right now my ID has changed to from port MAC address to 00000000003. Okay, let me minimize my Oracle Visual Box. We now know how Roman ID and secret works. But that's not all to learn on Roman. So let me go back to tools and I'll click Roman to open Roman settings. As we can see, we also have the last three tabs here being the ports discovery and pin on ports 
you cannot delete Roman ports, but you can disable them. Okay, let me show you what I mean. I'll click on post tab and then if we click our post configuration and try to delete, check what will happen. Could not remove Roman port or not allowed. As you can see, we cannot delete our Roman ports. But what we can do, we can disable them. And how do we disable them? Okay, let's double click on our Roman post configuration and I'll click on the tick box of forbid, then click OK. Now wait and see what will happen. As you can see, our Roman routers, which is router 2 and router 3, we don't have connection to them anymore. We lost connection to them. We can also add the post that we want to use for Roma. For example, I'll click on plus sign and then here I'll click ETH2. I know my ETH2 port is connected to my router 2. So I'll click it and then click OK. Now let's see what will happen. And as you can see, we now have connection to our routers again. And if I can also forbid ETH2, click OK. You can see that we lost connection again. OK. Let me delete my ETH2. And then I'll also enable my common port. Click OK. Let me close it. The next step is discover. Discovery is used to discover the routers or devices that are taking part in Roman. Okay, if we open discovery, we can see it does the information that we have on our Roman neighbors, which is router 2 and router 3. And we can also see that router 3 is two hops away from router 1, and router 2 is one hop away from router 1. Okay. Let me also close it. And last but not least, we have the pin tab. And the pin tab is for connection testing. For example, as you can see here, I made a pin to my router 3 and the connection was successful, as we can see. Let me close the graphic user interface. And with that, this concludes the end of our lesson. If you find this lesson beneficial, Please share it with others who can benefit from it. And if you have a question or a suggestion, please leave it on the comment. I'll make it a point to come back to you as soon as possible. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell or button in order to be notified when you drop another lesson. With that, let me love and leave you. Enjoy your day. Thank you.